Hello and welcome back to the Mike from LA One Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Bender Rodriguez My Player series here on MLB 2K12. This is actually the second time me recording this because da, 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 a phone call interrupted. So and, and during that phone call, we finished the first game, the second game of this of the Phillies of the Phillies. So now we are, so unfortunately we can't get that footage back because it was a part of the scrap commentary and let me turn it down because it's almost 11 at night and in a few minutes as soon as this footage is over I can, I can watch Donna's fans live stream. Which is almost midnight, oh, uh oh, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, now Bender, he is a member of the Big Captain Mets, who are the, he's a member of the Mets organization, duh. As Mets, as, this will be the rubber match against the team that my character is currently on, the Philadelphia Phillies. So hopefully, let's hope right now, see the house is the house is scrap recording, he went 2 for 6 and he was named player of the game, so he gets 100 skill points for that. As as Larry Clark, as Larry, as this is going to be a ground out here for Bender, as he failed the goal to reach base safely, so that's kind of unfortunate. But Big Upton sent a message. They're up three to nothing, and now in the top of the third with the 3 0 count. And that wasn't perfect. It isn't great, but Bender got the job done at the second baseman position here. And now Bender's back up the bat, and the goal is don't strike out. It should be the goal every time you come up the bat. And right now, and it looks like change up. And unfortunately, Bender swung at that, but even though you sh hopefully he doesn't. He struck out once, and and there's his third strikeout of his career. And he failed the goal. No good job, Bender. So now it's time for the top, another fielding situation here as Bender. As right now, he is doing a great job. As And now Binghamton is up 5 nothing as bad as that. Bender is up next to bat here. As Bender. Foul ball, but unfortunately, it's going to be a fly out. So, that's Bender's 30 seconds of fame right there in that game. As Bender's back out for the top of the sixth inning, hopefully Bender gets to seal the deal, and there it is. He's done. As Bender gets there, as he gets it in for the seventh inning, so it's now six nothing. And now Bender's back out to bat. He he's 0 for three today, so it's not as bad as his, which is a big disappointment over his the game, which you didn't will never get a chance to see. And he failed the goal of a hit and run. Which, this is probably the first time in the series that that's happened. And there is a very late swing by Bender. Either that or he's getting tired. As Bender strikes out. Unfortunately, so that's his fourth strikeout of his career. So, so at the top of the eighth time for a fielding simulation situation. Bleh, as Bender... Didn't move on time, so as a result, the Mets gave up their fourth hit hit of the game, which is really embarrassing. But the the Mets crushed the Phillies seven to nothing. So he gets 103 skill points all from fielding because his batting performance was bad. And right now I'm gonna mute the TV because I think I didn't show you this in the last episode. Of the Ned Flanders series, so let me take a look at. Huh. 
how funny was this? He was a 200 at the start of the last step and the, the recording that was scrapped. So, I'll be right back. Okay, and I actually got... Whoa, look at That's right, I got the hat. I will... I'll be traveling to the north, to the Bay Area. Up in, up in the San, Jose, San, San Francisco area. So it will be making an appearance in one of my videos soon. Actually, it already is. It will be in my ride review soon. But now let's get back to work here. As you can see, we're checking Bender's skill points, kind of like we did, and unfortunately not enough. There isn't enough, but awareness, we better raise that up. And let's check out his call-up goals to see how his awareness has to be. How his awareness has to be. My guess is probably 60. Yeah, 60, so he's far away from that, so. But now it's time to take on the next series. And it's the team that Ned Flanders is currently playing against. The Altoona Curve. Who are the double A affiliates, affiliates of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So now Bender is batting six right now. As you can see, he struck out once in the game. Well, as you can see, he struck out at least once, so in that series. And now at the top of the second as Altoona, bottom of the second as Bender's back in his home jerseys again. As Bender, as Bender went the wrong way for some reason. As the Mets are up one nothing as Ma as Bender's up the bat for the first time in this game today. As well, Clark, jeez. Family connection. As look at this. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a base hit, but so sorry, Bender. So that long run back to the dugout. So now Bender is back at his second place, second base, not second place, huh? And the, once again, Bender is losing track. So now, thanks to him, the Mets are down on the, you know. Bases loaded situation, so they do not want to give up a grand slam, but they avoided it. So now, top of the fourth. Hopefully, Bender doesn't make that mistake, and he got and he paid it off. He made a nice, big, nice catch. So now things right now as Bender's back up the bat with the 0 and 1 with the now he has to drive in the runs. So, so far, he has four RBIs. So things are looking good for him. That looked like it hit him. Let's take a look to see if that hit him. Now here's the Altoona jerseys here. Which I looks like Richmond's jerseys, which I didn't get to show off. And like like most teams, like most te some teams in the minor major league, they do display the logo of their affiliate. As did Dan all. But now let's take a look. Hang on, let me zoom out here so we can get the ball. Okay, let's try that thing again so we can see. Let's see, did that hit him? I think that did hit him. And now he's facing a cold pitcher here. As Juan Cadeno has to face four to nine hits here, so that was his 
first pitch of the game. But Bender, unfortunately, will not get the goal, and he's out. So Bender's like, no. But the good news is, Bigotum did get a run, so it's 3 nothing. So back to, out onto the field for a fielding situation here. As Bender does what he does, near perfect, and he gets the job done. As Bender is probably going to do another fielding situation here, as the Altoona strikes back, and it's now a 3-2 game, as Bender tries to see if he could extend this lead, because a run run ball game isn't safe, and that was a very late swing there, Bender. That is really bad. As you can see, things right now are not looking good here. As there's another good hit by Bender, and unfortunately, it causes a double play. So that is really unfortunate there. So now Bender's top of the eighth. As Bender... But, unfortunately, got the, didn't get the throw off in time. So it's now a tie game. Top of the ninth. Oh, boy. If he hits his first career home run, it'll be a walk-off. So it'll be Tim Wood. And, look, wait a minute. Could this be a home run? No, fly out. Oh, that would have been great if that was a... That would have been a great way to end the game. And look at this. We're going to the extras. Top of the ninth. One out, and oh boy, Tim Wood is still out there. As right now, that was a foul ball right there on the play there. As there it is, the base hit for Bender. So Bender will stay at first. He gets a single. He passed the goal of don't strike out. And now he's the running one. And unfortunately, that's not going to work. Well, that is not going to help. As Look at this. We're now at the top of the 13th. He's one for five. But now Bender has a shot of being the hero with a walk-off hit. First time ever. Unfortunately, that looked like it was a that was a questionable call there, Ump. As it, oh, it landed outside. So that that was kind of questionable, but we did the instant replay. So here and look at oh, it's probably gonna be a fly out. Yep, fly out. So that is really devastating for Bender because he's doing a great job and yet. He's not doing it, but they have 10 wins in the in 14 innings, 5 to 3. So that is it for that game. And to make up for the scrap recording, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do one more game of the Curve Series here. So, as you can see, Bender's batting average has dropped. His home run count still at 0. So, taking on Altoona again. As Bender, now they're facing a left-handed pitcher, so Bender is now fifth in the batting order. That means Turner is a switch hitter, so... So, so far in the, in the Philly series, he goes, we went two for 14, which really is pathetic. But... He can get used to it as Altoona strikes first one and nothing here. And here comes Bender trying to tie the tend his name as Bettencourt. Brett Bettencourt. That's a weird name. But look at this. Base hit. Bender's going to try for and he's gonna stay for a drowned rule for a double. As he as he gets a base hit and an RBI. And he drives in the tying run. So that is really good start for Bender. As his ERA goes up to 219. 
for that blade and that. And his Bantan cord has to be really pissed off. Wait, two for 15? Oh, he's already passed that, so... Don't be surprised if they make a move here, people. So right now, Bender is doing such a good... That was a great hit. And uh-oh. Could Nikias... I can't even pronounce that. Mike Nikias. Huh, <laughs> that's funny. Here, as right now, things are looking up, but... And he is out, so Bender has that long walk back to the dugout to get the glove. But at least Bender was useful today, so far in this game. As here's another chance to be useful. There's a perfect throw, and the batter is out. And Bender once again has to take the long walk to the dugout. As Bender goes back to another fielding situation here at the top of the third inning. As Bender... It's is wearing this right mark five, which is probably gonna change for spring training because it's going in. But Altuna takes the lead three to one at the top of the fourth. As I was saying, it's probably gonna change because that's David Wright's number. So we could see him wearing something else. As you can see, there's a foul. Bender hits a foul ball. He said someday in the future he wants to be so powerful he can hit a home run at the roller coaster. As, as Bender gets another base hit. So Bender's two for two. All he needs is a triple and a home run. And he'll get the cycle. Which that has never happened. Of all the time I own this game. There's Bender, as unfortunately Bender's out, as so is the first base that Nicky has. So now Bender's back out for a ceiling pitch situation as Steve Barrett is now at pitching. No, it's at bat. Brady Bell's the pitcher, excuse me. I thought we were, I thought Bender was a member of the curve. <laughs> Not quite. As there's Bender, as and there's the out right there on that play. As here's Bender, as they're up four to one now. As you can see, Bender has two, is two for two. So hopefully the fans want him to go three to three. As Tim Wood is still batting, even though his pitch count is high. Funny as this, oh zero to five pitches. So he was at his max at the beginning. So poor Wood. There, as Bender gets another hit, and th and there's three for three. Well, he's got his jersey filthy in the process, but three hit game, and he gets another base hit. So there's another point there for Bender. So right now, Bender Rodriguez is doing such a good job. As take a look at this, as this is going to be a foul ball. So Bender has to walk all the way back. As right now, things are looking good for Bender right now. As right now, Bender is still doing his best trying to stall time here. As you can see, Bender is one. As you can see, Nikias is one. Ball away from a, a walk. As he, there, there's the walk. So all that's left now is Bender needs to do all that Bender needs to do. As Quintanilla is up to bat here, which he is having a, quite a successful day, but not as successful as Bender's, because he's today he's 0 for two, but Bender's the only one that's three for three. So now, this is an opportunity for, for them to get back in the game with a grand slam. So Bender has to make a short walk back to second base. So 
So that is not looking good for Bender. So he advances safely again. And now it's a run run game. So it's a two run game, excuse me. And uh oh, this it doesn't look good here for Bender on third base, trying to be. And there's a strikeout on that play. So that is good news for them as Tim Wood is still pitching as Don Thomas is pinch hitting for the pitcher. For Bell. And look at this. Bender's actually going to score. And there's another one. And that was a weird glitch. And he advances safely as the as the bases were loaded, and now the win probability is now at in favor of the Mets. So that is a good way to start things off here. That's a good way to cap off the inning. At the top of the seventh, the Mets are up 5-4 over the curve. As right now, Ben Derg makes a spectacular catch without even trying. Now it's time for him to get back at bat here. So he's 3 for 3, and now he has to get an extra base hit, which that has never seemed to be possible. But he did in the, the game that lost recording. So at the top of the 8th inning here, so Bender is doing his best, trying to keep his team in the lead. And that doesn't seem to help. Hopefully he'll try and get a base hit. To help things out, but unfortunately, he's gonna get the fly out. So, so much for being perfect in this entire game. So, he's gonna get a three for four performance here. Now, it's time for a fielding situation here as they're up five to four. As Herrera, who is the closer, tries well, as Bender will try to help him try to seal the deal. As there is another spectacular catch by Bender. As that is it, the game's over as the Mets beat the curve 5-4. to four, And I think this should just about do it for this episode. Come back next time as Ben will conclude his series with the ball, with the curve. And we'll continue to start off the next series in his rookie season with the Big Captain Mets. Later, folks.